In this episode, I'm going to edit the Android plugin bits for my Flutter plugin. I'll start off by creating a Flutter plugin. Then I'll build the example plugin APK for Android Studio. Then I'll open up Android Studio to edit the native Android plugin bits. After that, I'll run the Flutter example plugin from Android. So to get started, I'm going to go to the terminal on my Mac and I'm going to create the plugin. So I'm going to start by typing in Flutter create plugin. And this is going to be my plugin. And then enter. The plugin is now generating. After the plugin is generated, what I want to do is change directory into my plugin example. So I'm going to do that cd my plugin example. And then I want to run flutter build apk. So I can build the apk for Android Studio. Once the apk is built and generated, I can open up Android Studio. Instead of selecting open an existing Android Studio project, I want to import the project. And now I'm going to go to the training directory where I generated my plugin. I'm going to select training, flutter, my plugin, example, and Android. I'm going to select OK. When it asks for Gradle Sync, Gradle settings for this project are not configured yet, I'm going to select OK. This will import the project and set it up and initialize it. OK, I'm going to close the tip. Oh, but before that, I'm going to don't remind me about this project again. I'm not going to use Instant Run in this case. It, takes, it requires an upgrade and it's not needed at this time. So I'm going to click Don't Remind Me Again for this project, and I'm going to close the tip, and then I'm going to go over to the Project Explorer on the left, and once you see App in My Plugin, you know your project is configured properly and initialized for the editor. So I'm going to expand My Plugin and look for the bits that I want to edit. And this is My Plugin Plugin. In this case, I probably could have named it something a little bit better, but I'm just going to show the simple configuration in this demo. So this is the name of the plugin, which needs to be globally unique, and I covered that in the previous video, but I won't cover that today. So now that I've opened the source, I want to test this, and I can run the example app from IntelliJ. So I'm going to go up and do that by launching the process by going to the debug icon, and I'm going to select an emulator, and I'm going to select Nexus 5X with an API 25 and it's 64 bit. And I'm going to select OK. The emulator or AVD will launch and once it launches, it takes a moment to boot up and then it will run the application. OK, so the example application has run and I can see that it's fetching the version, which is result success, Android build version release, and I can see that's working in Android. So I have run the native Android plugin, or I have used Android Studio to launch the process. I didn't have to use IntelliJ and the native Flutter plugin to do that. So that's pretty cool. So it's pretty easy to edit the Android bits for the Flutter plugin. So that concludes this video today. Thanks for watching. Follow me for more tips and tricks, and I'll catch you later.